Thank you guys. So I'm just chilling today. It's on um, Sunday, I think. Yeah. We're still dealing with the um same apartment situation as before. We still have no water. Um, it's a long, long story. <coughs> We've gotten a lot more information about what's really going on here, and it seems like, which I kind of thought this in the first place, it seems like they, the people in charge of this place, they so-called, supposedly busted the pipe on purpose. Yes, literally on purpose, because there was no coincidence that the water supposedly ran out or supposedly went out a day before we were supposed to be out of here. Supposed to be out of here. Now mind you, they gave us no notice or anything. They were just talking shit for the whole entire holiday months and whatnot. And yeah. Pretty much what's been going on. So there's still a lot of drama going on, but I'm not gonna um, talk about that. It's just too much unnecessary stuff. Anyway, I want to talk more about why religion gets on my nerves. Okay, for example, this situation here. Now, I know most people would tell us to, you know, keep praying and God will fix it and all that other stuff. And honestly, I haven't prayed in how many years. I don't really care to pray. I think it's all bullshit because all the years I was so called praying to whoever is out there, nothing happened. In my favor, I mean. Um, a lot of people can sit there and debate and say that, oh yeah, God is in your life because your life will be a whole lot worse and blah blah blah. I don't care about any of that, honestly, because it's not about whatever entity you think it's out there. It's about having people who support you, having people who um, believe in you, having people to help you. That's what life's about, right? I mean, take a look at um, the best example I can give. The Walking Dead. <laughs> yes, the show The Walking Dead. Now there is no so-called God because, okay, if there was a God, why would he let the dead just over on the whole earth and just pretty much kill everybody off, you know, quite obviously. Take that example. Now, if those people are, you know, surviving and living just fine without any mention of a god, you know what I mean? Now, yeah, of course, there's probably a few characters in there, they mention it every now and then, but I don't blame them if they don't believe in a god anymore. I mean, hell, I don't blame them. I mean, look at the world. Why would a loving god do something like that? Why would a loving god let the world be ravished that way. And that's why I feel about everything. That's how I feel about literally everything. If this so-called God existed, why would people be suffering as, as they are? Why would cancer exist? Why would there be world hunger? Why would there be any bad thing that we can possibly think of? Hmm. So when people tell me to pray, I just look at them backwards like, okay, thank you, but no thank you. If you tell me you, you're going to pray for me, well, go ahead. I think you're wasting your time. You're better off just asking your cat to pray for you. Cause, um, that's just what it is. Y'all don't know how many years I spent praying and hoping and praying and hoping and talking and looking up into the sky, waiting for some magical sky daddy to come whisk me out of certain situations. It did not happen. So, y'all can pray for me all you want to, but do not tell me to pray. Do not tell me that your God is going to save me or going to help me because I'm just going to roll my eyes. Well, not really. I'm not going to actually roll my eyes, roll my eyes in your face or anything. I'm just going to, you know, just kind of put it off. I'm like, okay, well, that's nice, but okay. But I don't expect everybody to know my beliefs, so I'm not going to be rude. I'm never rude to people. But I'm just saying, 
in any situation I go through, I don't really care to hear about religion. Because that's the first thing people bring up. People always talk about God in the first, you know, that's just the first thing they say as far as just trying to think their way out of things. Actually, no, people don't think. That's the problem with, with religion. People don't think their way out of situations. With religion, all people do is just sit back and just wait for some so-called God to handle it. They always say, oh, God will fix it. And, um, you know, everything will be alright. Well, we just put it in God's hands and just let it just drop. Drop down. Wherever. Into the abyss. <laughs> and with religion, it takes away our, our responsibility and our ability to actually think for ourselves. We just keep throwing it to some God. I mean, we don't know who we're throwing our problems to, honestly. Why would you just throw your problems, throw your cares, throw your whatever onto something that you can't see? Why would you do that? You don't even know what you're doing. And like I said, also it inhibits you from, I mean, prohibits you from thinking for yourself. Thinking out of your situation. Thinking of ways how you can get out of it and you're not waiting on some entity. You know, you can't just sit there. You gotta take action. So that's the problem with religion in my eyes. It's, it's, mm -mm. I mean, I understand everyone wants to have some hope somewhere, but I've already been given up on that. It's false hope, in my opinion. It's false. It's very false. There is no possible way you can keep sitting there and just keep wishing, 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 wishing until you die <laughs> and nothing changes. You have to do something about your situation. You can't just sit there and pray, pray, pray all day. Expect something to happen out of nowhere. Expect some miracle to happen. You can't do that. So, hey, whatever your situation is, try to take action on it. You can pray if you want to. Whatever you believe, that's your business, that's your life. But I'm not going to bother. I'm going to take whatever action I can. If I can't take action, hey, I'll just throw it up. Throw it up. Wherever. I'll cast my cares onto the universe. i just throw it out there. See what happens. But, whoever everybody else is worshipping, I'm not going to worship that. Because, again, if there is a solo entity out there that everyone is worshipping, I've never seen him. I've never felt him. I've never, seen him. I've never gotten any results from that. Well, that's just me. I've never gotten any type of good results from that. And based on how many bad things happened in the Bible when the so-called God did get involved, why the fuck would I want to trust that? Like, seriously, it doesn't seem like this god did anything good at all. It seemed like, it seemed like Satan was the good one here. Hey, I'm just being real. You know, I follow a couple of atheist pages on Facebook, and I always see people talking about, Oh, um, you, you atheists are taking things out of context. <laughs> are we really? I mean, yeah, we all know the Bible's not literal, but most verses, you can't possibly take that out of context. I mean, just read it just for how it is, and you'll see. I mean... Um, like verses where God talk, talks about he's gonna kill babies, he's gonna um, kill firstborn sons and stuff, or he's going to marry a woman off to the man that raped her. Crazy shit. Like, why would you even believe in something that write, wrote these things? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I've done enough research on the Bible to to um to not understand why people would even want to believe in a god after we know now that we were forced into Christianity in the first place. Black people were forced into Christianity. Why the fuck would I want to sit there and worship something that I was forced into? I mean, if you know better, do better. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel, so. <sighs> Regarding the situation, I'm not doing any praying. I'm just, I'm just chilling. Yeah, we have no water, but we're surviving. My mother-in-law is helping us a lot. Um, she got us a hotel a few days ago, so we all went and showered and got cleaned up. As you can see, my hair is curly again. Because I got to wash it. It's not straight anymore. Yeah. We have no water here, but again, we're surviving, you know? We're surviving. The kids are fine. They're completely oblivious to what's going on. <laughs> They're just being kids, and that's all they can do in the situation. So, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just chilling now in this practically barren complex. 
They're like almost the only ones left here. So here's our van and nobody else. I don't feel like standing up, but either way, there's probably no ca no more cars here. But it's fine. You know, they're not gonna turn the power off. They can't turn the power off. We're paying for the power. So we're good. I'll update again when I can about this whole lawsuit thing and whatnot. Um, probably now we'll try to update when we can and stuff like that. So. Whew. Yeah, it's probably like one more person here. Maybe one. If you see that car down there. There's that person. And we occasionally walk around here to see who else is left. And there's probably no one left. But again, we're good. So We'll be moving soon anyway. Whenever all this blows over. Whenever our tax money comes. All of that. Um, we'll survive. You know what I mean? So, that's pretty much it. I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to go inside and um, get ready to make this kid's lunch so they can get up from the nap and eat and enjoy the rest of our Sunday. <laughs> so, thank you guys for even watching. I know the channel isn't much yet, but it's getting there. Oh, ow. Crap. Shit hurt. I accidentally yanked my hair with my ring. Anyway, um, that's all I'm going to say now. I'm going to go back inside, like I said, and fix the kids some lunch, so. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.